If you are an IT student in South Africa, then you will probably know about a PAT or a practical assessment task. And you probably have done your phase one by now. If not, then go check out our video series on how to do your phase one. But once you've done your phase one, you now need to start moving on to your phase two. Here are my tips and ideas on how you can get started with your phase two. From your phase one, you should have your folder structure of a phase one and a phase two folder. And in your phase one, you should have your documentation and hopefully you've created your database already. So the first thing I'm doing is I'm just gonna make sure that we've got our database correctly designed. So I'm just gonna go into it quickly. So before you start with your actual Delphi program, I want you to make sure about five things regarding your database. Make sure that you've got at least two tables. And when you go into those tables, make sure that your tables have sufficient data, enough data to work with. Make sure that your tables have enough data in it. This is probably not enough. You would probably have to put a bit more in, but just for this example, I'm just putting that in for now. But I would recommend putting a lot more data into your tables, maybe 20 to 25 records at least. And then if you're in grade 12, you need to make sure that you have a relational database. In other words, there's a relationship between at least two tables in your database. So I've got that over here. I've got a users table and then I've got a donations table where the donations are recorded and we've got a link to who the donor is and that is the username from this table now before I can do the actual relationship you need to make sure that the fields that are connected so this donor field and this username field because they are what makes the connection between the two tables make sure that they are the exact same type and the exact same field size so if I come here to design view I'm just going to double check that username which is a primary key is a field size of 30 and it's short text and if I come here to donations and I go to design view this donor field is also a size 30 and short text so at least they are the exact same then I want to do the relationship which is the fourth check to do that you can't do it while these tables are open so first close those tables let's go to database tools click on relationships and we're going to add those two tables and we want to create a relationship. The username is connected to the donor field. So I'm gonna drag the username to the donor field. It says their username is connected to the donor field, it's correct. I'm gonna enforce referential integrity. I'm not gonna do the cascade up and delete because I can code that myself. And then there's a one to many relationship. So we're gonna create it. And there you can see there's one of each user in this table, but that user can occur multiple times in the donation table because that user can make multiple donations. So there we go. So there's my relationship. Make sure we click on save and then close. And then the final check, which you probably should have done before this is to make sure that your database is an MDB database. Make sure that it's that version 2003 database. Well, you can do that when you've created your database. If by some reason you haven't created MDB and you made an ACC database, then you can create the MDB database and come here and you can click on these tables and go export them to access. And then you go and select the database that you want to export them to so that you don't have to redo those tables. Once I've done those five checks, I'm now going to copy this database. I'm gonna make a copy of it because I'm using this almost as a backup. I'm gonna go back to my original folder and inside my phase two, I'm going to paste it. So I've got a copy of it here. So that's my database that I'm gonna be working with and connect to my phase two. Now let's Let's go open up Delphi. Okay, now, if you've used Delphi, you've probably been working a lot of the times where you've been given the data files. And so you've probably forgotten right back in grade 10 how to actually create your Delphi project from the beginning. So I'm gonna show you how quickly we're gonna go to file, go to new and Windows VCL application in Delphi. Remember, this is Delphi 10.4, so that's the version that we're using. So there's my unit, my main unit. Now, this needs to be the very first screen that we see, the main screen. So when this form closes, the entire program will close. So it's very important that we make sure that this is the main one, that everything flows from this one. And I'm going to go to the code. I'm just going to give it a nice name here for the unit. I'm going to call this the main underscore U so that I know that it's my main unit. And then I'm going to go file, save project as, not save as, but save project as make sure you go to the correct folder we're going to go to the phase two folder and I'm going to save that unit one file as main underscore you I'm going to keep it the same name as the name that we use over there so I'm going to click on save and then make sure that you also save the project I'm just going to leave it as project one for now so then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm not going to create my database connection and because I might have multiple forms I'm not going to put that connection inside of the main unit I'm actually going to put it in a data module so I'm going to go file new and then we're going to go to other and we're going to be looking for database and we're looking for the data module and we click OK so now I'm in my data module over here and I'm going to now go to the code 
and change its name to DM for data module. And we're dealing with a charity database. I'm calling it charity underscore you. So I know this is the unit for the data module. And we're going to go file, save as, and make sure we save in the same folder, whatever that name is there. So this is DM charity underscore you. That's the name of my unit. Click save. And now I'm going to do my database connection. Now there are two ways that you can do it. You can either do it manually using components and you can use this video to help you do that. I would strongly recommend that you however use this video instead. This video will show you how to do the connection dynamically and if you do it dynamically then you are hitting those marks for the dynamic object but it's also going to make your life a lot easier when you are interacting with the database and you're moving maybe from different folders. At least the connection will remain stable. So I would strongly recommend that you use this video. Go through the steps. Follow it exactly like it is. Obviously change the name for your case so that you can then get your dynamic objects done and your database connection done dynamically. So I've gone and done the connection dynamically. I've got a dynamic connection to the charity database and I've got a dynamic ADO table for the TBL users table and another one for the TBL donation table and then the data sources for each of them. Now what we need to be aware of if you're using particularly if you're using like Delphi 10.4 and so on when you run your program it actually runs in a debug folder and we don't have access to it and our database needs to be in that folder. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to run the program and so it's come up with an error message that it can't find that database which is fine is what I want. So what I'm going to do is if I go back to that folder structure you'll notice we now have a win32 folder and inside here we have the debug folder. So we're going to go back to phase two and we're going to move this database into the win32 but we don't want it in the win32 we actually want it in the debug folder. So if I come here to debug you'll see your exe file and you'll see that your database is in the same folder as your exe file. So that's how you know that your database will be seen if it's done dynamically. So let's try run it again and now you see there's no error message. So now that database connection that's been done dynamically is working. So to recap that part, you first go to File, New, Windows VCL Application to create your main unit. Make sure that you save the project as, but also make sure that you've renamed that first bit over there. And then once you've done that, you're going to go File, New, and create a other for the data module. Once you've got your data module, you're also going to save it, give it a good name. You might do your database connection. You will then run it. And then once you've run it, it will create the Win32 folder inside that Win32 folder inside the debug folder here's where you must move your database to so that it can be seen by your program and then from any part of your program which needs to interact with the database we are going to add this name to the top so for example if I'm going to use this main screen to be my login screen which means I need to interact with the database to find out who the users are then I'm going to come here to users and make sure that I add dm charity underscore you so that this form can see the database connection and so from from here you can move on you can design what's your main screen maybe you want this to be your login screen and then from here you'll go to another unit and we can go file new vcl form if you want to add another form that will pop up within this unit you can do that or you can make this for example your menu screen or whatever you've designed from your phase one so look at how you've designed your program what are your initial screens and start from there but that's how i would recommend that you get started if you want to do a login screen then here's a video that can help you start off your login screen design and connection for those other videos, go to our YouTube channel, go click on the playlist option and look for the IT Pat tips and you'll find all the videos there to help you. And remember to click on that subscribe button, leave a like, leave a comment and don't do it the long way, do it the Mr. Long Way.